I still don't accept the fact that you waited so long to tell me about our kid. And for a while, that's all I could think of. But then... <sighs> no matter how hard I tried, I still had all these other thoughts. How you stuck by me, knowing all the things you know about me, all the crazy things I've done. And how you love me in spite of them all. And I thought about how you came to me the second I needed you most. Even though I'd hurt you before. But I think most of all, it was the thought of our wedding. The happiest I've ever been. And, uh, I was gonna try to find you on New Year's Eve and tell you that you forgive me. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> and what I'm trying to say now is that I love you. I never stopped. I couldn't help notice last night when you and Taya showed up over at Dorian's to help Danny that you were all decked out, going on a date. What's it to you? Just curious. Well, if you must know, Taya was feeling really badly about Danielle oh. and what happened with Ross. and I wanted to make her feel better, so I took her out. So you were just being a real sweet brother-in-law. Is that it? Fine. Fine. Maybe I am interested. And maybe she's interested in me, too. Or maybe one day she will be. Of course, I'll probably be collecting Social Security by then. Because as of now, she is nowhere near over Todd. Guess there's no hope for a guy when the woman he wants wants another guy. So how long has this little affair been going on? It's not an affair. I swear nothing happened until last night. There's only one time, is that what you're saying? Yes. Rex, it's the truth. Hey, I guess this isn't all on you. I'm the one who asked you to figure things out. Obviously, this is one way to figure it out. Okay. If you have now gotten this out of your system and you want to come home to me and Shane, we can work it out. We can figure out a way to get past this. This does not have to destroy us. I slept with Stacy once. It didn't mean anything. This isn't like you and Stacy. What do you say? Are you are you saying that, that it meant something? Are, are you choosing Joplin over me? Come on, she doesn't have to do this. Yes, right. she does. Gigi, you tell me right now, okay? Who do you want to be with? Right now, him or me? Rex, I love you. I'm hearing a butt coming. Well, I made a decision last night. I asked Skylar to stay with me, so I guess... Yes, I made a choice. I wanted to be with him. That was last night. What about today? Today? I still want to be with him. I never thought I'd say this, but I guess my father was right about one thing. Your father? You've been talking to Mitch? Correct thy son, and he shall give thee rest. Yea, he shall give delight unto thy soul. So now that Tay has sworn off Todd forever, the field's wide open for you, right? Now, what makes you think that I even want to play on that field anymore? What do you mean? I thought you wanted Todd. At least, Taya certainly thought so. Well, you know what? So did I. And I even told everybody that would listen the reason I broke Taya and Todd up was for my kids. Now, my kids even called me on that one. Yep, they knew what I wouldn't admit myself that I wanted Todd. Can you explain to me what women see in that guy? Hey, I don't get it. Is he worth the trouble? 
My brother's dead. Taya and Danielle are a wreck, and you... Just... You know, Elijah, if I could predict the future, would I do what I did? Probably not. Absolutely not. You know, but for whatever reason, whatever is going on with Todd and me, I sometimes can't recognize the difference between love and oh, stubborn pride. Pride? Yeah, pride. Pride is exactly what was going on back then. You know, I just wanted to win. I had to beat Taya. And I did everything I could to break them up. I mean, you were even a part of that. Oh, yeah, on behalf of my brother, but you're right. I'll own up to that. And even after I tried everything, I finally just had to admit that Todd really loved Taya. <laughs> Timing's a little off, considering I just promised never to see you again. <laughs> Here you are. <laughs> you're seeing me now. Well, I, I needed to explain, you know. Yeah, you did. Still standing here. There's another reason I'm here. I came to say goodbye. Danny and I are leaving Lampview. Can't believe Destiny thought you were into me. Maybe she was looking for reasons why I couldn't feel the same way she does. I don't know. I hope you don't lose her as a friend. You know, I was really nervous going into high school. And then... All the popular kids started making fun of me and stuff. I hate those morons. You know what? Destiny was there for me. She was the only one who made things okay. The kids being mean, the accident. I never would have gotten out of that wheelchair if it weren't for her. She's really important to me. And then there's you. Me? Yeah, you didn't have to help me bust out of that boarding school. I mean, a month ago, you barely knew me. And now you're one of the best friends I ever had. I don't know what I would do without you. You're going to have to find out. What do you mean? I'm not going to be around for much longer. My mom and I are leaving the country. Officer Lovett, do what you need to do. No. Nobody gets arrested. Not you and not Natalie. Now, I may serve at the mayor's pleasure, but you don't run this department. I'm still a police commissioner. I call the shots. I will see to it that justice is served, even if I have to call for a special hearing of internal affairs myself. Well, obviously, Dorian, all you want out of this is something against me that will stick. But I'm sure as hell I'm not going to let you run roughshod over everybody here. That's not up to you, Bo. Well, here's the deal. If all you want to put an end to all this crap is my badge, fine. There it is. No, Bo, do not give that to her. You consider me fired. You have been talking to Mitch. Everyone knows how dangerous he is. Appreciate the concern, but psycho that he is, he did tell me that I shouldn't be wasting my time with you. What? He doesn't even know. Waste. Waste. We loved each other. Yeah. We loved each other so much it's already past tense after one night in the sack with this guy. Fine. You want to be with him? Go for it. You do what you have to do and so will I. What's that supposed to mean? Enjoy it while it lasts. accept your badge, Bo. And of course, I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. We'll sort the rest of this out later, John. Don't be surprised by a hearing in front of internal affairs. Hey, Dory. What about your letter opener? Thank you. I'll hand this over to your replacement. Excuse me. What the heck was that? I would have handled the charges against me, Bo. Uncle Bo. No, no, I'm fine with it, Natalie. I am so, so sorry. Look, I'm the one that Dorian wanted. If this hadn't worked, she would have tried something else. Why would Dorian risk firing someone who's the best man for the job? Why would she make that her first job as mayor? Maybe it wasn't up to her. <laughs> 